So today I wanted to do a quick chat about um, authenticity and telling our story and being our truest selves and how that affects us and mental health and also how it affects um, people around us and how they respond to us and um, it's a big it's a big topic and everybody is going to um, be different in how they want to share themselves and express them, themselves and um, how much they're comfortable with sharing. Um, but here is just a quick kind of overview of my thoughts on that. <laughs> Not living authentically and true to yourself and hiding your story from others um, which I say uh, again later, but can cause a lot of mental health and physical health issues. And these include things like um, depression. You know, you think that there's something else you should be doing or that you're not fulfilled. Um, um, anxiety because you, um, you know, you're anxious about something is missing, something needs to be done. Um, and a lot of people don't speak out about their truth and their stories and their traumas and the things that they need to heal from because, um, you know, they see other people doing it and then it's scary. It's scary to think that you could be dismissed. And that is a trauma in itself, adding to, you know, you trying to heal and then um, having that, um, dismissal is really painful and it's really scary and it's really sad that that happens and that is a lot of why mental health um, isn't talked about that much and our stories aren't told it's not okay to just talk about these experiences that were traumatic or bad you know per se um, but nothing's like good or bad, right? You're learning from them or are supposed to learn from them, but you can't if you can't talk about it. Um, we're taught that those are things that we just keep to ourselves and we don't talk about. So to come out and to even think about saying things and then knowing that you're going to have backlash is scary and a lot of people don't do it. So we need to take it back, be authentic, stand in our authenticity, and really, um, you know, tell our story and make it make us stronger. Not being true to yourself keeps you in this cycle of wanting more of wanting something else of you know and a lot of times we don't know what that is that we want or that we're seeking or that we're searching for or that we need to feel whole um, because we're just not being our truest selves and a lot of times we're not being our truest selves because we've been taught not to be we've been taught by society by the education system um, by our families, by our friends, um, by our experiences of coming out and being ourselves and then being, um, you know, maybe viewed as uh, negative or maybe we've been told not to do these things. Nobody has the right to tell you who you are, who you can and can't be, and you know, what is best for you. Stay in line, 
go to school, go to college, get a job, work that job, retire. That's what we're supposed to do. Come home after work, numb yourself with alcohol, you know, stunt that creative side, stunt that part of you that wants to be wild, that wants to know nature, that wants to know yourself and your desires and put that out into the world. We've seen it and we've heard it a million times, right? People coming out with these stories of their traumas, their experiences. They're finally brave enough um, or, you know, needed enough to step out and open up about it. But then they are shut down. They are dismissed. They have people that are, um, creating more trauma in their lives by telling them that they're lying or that, um, you know, their version of the story is, um, wrong, you know, and, and that keeps a lot of people from telling their truth and living in their truth. And part of being able to live in your truth is to be able to, um, accept and learn from your past. I started telling my story to a journal um, over 10 years ago, but it wasn't until recently where I found everything coming full circle and I found everything that I had been holding in and not even wanting to put on paper because it was hard to relive it, to write it, um, has been making me sick, right, inside um, and contributing to my mental health and now my physical health. And so for me, it's important for me to get it out, just get it out of me, you know, um, whether it's writing it now or, um, you know, podcasting it or whatever, um, just telling my story. That's what I need to do. And I've known that for a really long time. Everything's been stuck. I've been stuck in this state of, um, trauma and you know not being able to move on because I'm not recognizing the signs of being stuck in trauma I'm needing the things that I never got and I keep searching for those in all the wrong places um, because those are the places that I know for some people maybe you know uh, keeping their story to themselves and private is a way for them to heal, but to like meditate on it or, um, you know, do something like that or burn it or something and release it that way is a way for them to heal. There's so many different ways, but all of them include, you know, being authentic to you and your story and what you need. There are some personal bits that I, you know, why I haven't opened up and why I haven't um, let it out of me is because, you know, I'm afraid it will hurt other people the way that um, they're represented in my story or the way that they affected my life. Um, but I keep thinking, I don't know exactly the quote and I don't know who said it, but I keep thinking of the quote, something about, you know, if you, if you wanted to look good in my story, then, you know, you should have played a better role in my life. And, um, and that's true. And I know that a lot of people will support this. That one keeps falling out. <laughs> Um, but I have found that in this journey, the short 
time that it's been, um, there have been people that just really won and the group, you know, um, that have uh, come and said, you're lying, you're all of these things and all these untruths that didn't happen to rewrite their own story to make themselves feel better and not um, have anything to do with what is going on with me. And, um, you know, so I'm getting attacked because of how they uh, want to rewrite history. And, um, you know, that's just part of the process. I'm telling my truth. They know the truth, and um, they're not ready for it. And I said something um, not long ago, like, my truth is too big for a lot of people to handle, and, and that's very true in that situation. It's too big. It's too much. And I understand that, and I understand that they're not ready to accept their truth. But the thing is, is even though people are a part of your story, <laughs> your story is not their story. And their story is not your story. So really, it doesn't matter. And, um, you know, part of healing is being truthful, acknowledging, learning, and then rewiring, changing uh, your brain and patterns so that you can have healthier relationships with um, yourself, most importantly, and um, with other people. And that's really what I'm working on, and that's really what I want to take you through in this whole journey and all these videos and um, whatever else comes out of it. Um, but at this point, um, I'm an open book and it feels so fucking amazing <laughs> to be living me and doing me and working toward um, you know, focusing on what I need and putting it out into the world and hopefully helping other people because that is my main goal <laughs> is to help other people. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so a couple of things I want you to ask yourself are what is holding me back from being my most authentic self and how can I release that? How can I release what's holding me back? How can I let go of um, whatever it is? you know, the feelings, the uh, worry about the other people, um, and how will that benefit me? And also, how am I going to realize, recognize, relive my past, and how do I need to heal from it? What, what do I need to gain? from that and um, you know do I need to do it like publicly is it an inward thing is it you know uh, what you need to figure out how to do it for yourself and then lastly um, how will living in authenticity improve your life what are you lacking and 
do you believe that by being your truest self and um, putting it out there, will that fill that void? Ha <laughs> ha.